Welcome to Limitless Life Pro. This is Chinda Chinda. Today I want to talk about love and respect and the practical ways you can give this to your spouse daily. It isn't surprising to know that a man and a woman is different. And I'm not just talking about the physical components. I'm not talking about their physical makeups and what we see outwardly. We're talking about what they are made up of. Their likes, their dislikes. The way they think are different and possibly the way even they view love is different and how they want to receive love is different. So that's why it's very, very important for us to pay attention because happiness and joy in any relationship can be at risk when love and respect is not given due attention. So we're going to look at how we can give more love to our spouse as a man. And how a woman can show some significant level of respect at home to her husband. And I've divided this in two parts. So I have five things that men need to do every day in order for their woman to feel and experience this love. And also we have five things that women need to do to their own husbands so that they can actually feel respected. So, we'll start with what the man have to do to the woman or what the men have to do to show love to their wives. In any marriage, number one, the man need to show the wife affection. Huge dozens of affection. Now, <laughs> it's very funny because when you mention affection, the rest in the man is thinking is intimacy. But, that is not all about affection. There are so many ways, there's so many branches around affection. I'm talking about, you know, the hugs she will receive, the touch, the kisses, and possibly, you know, the, the massage you give to her, you know, the tender care you give to her. All these things shows the woman affection. Now, if it leads to intimacy, that's okay. But women see these things as a very big opportunity for them to feel relaxed, feel valued, feel cherished, and also feel loved. So if the woman said, please, can you just scratch my back or something? You don't think, well, she wants something different. No, she just wants you to scratch her back, for goodness sake. If you want a massage, give her a massage. It's not just giving a massage and you're looking for something else. If you lose it, that's okay. But it's not necessary that it has to lead to intimacy. You understand? You need to show affection to your spouse. Women, they love a lot of affection. And let me tell you something. No woman on this earth, regardless of the background, regardless of where they live on earth or which continent they come from or which background they come from, every woman need a lot of affection. Just That's just the way they are. They're very emotional. And affection connects them to who they are. And they actually feel loved and feel valued. Number two, you need to give her attention. Women, they know when a man is not giving them attention. And every woman craves for attention. And the way they view attention is you concentrating when they are talking. You don't want to be looking sideways. You don't want to be doing something different. You don't want to be watching your TV or clicking the mouse on the computer or listening to something else. She wants you to look at her, give her some eye contact. Smile at her. Give her the attention. Let her know that you're listening. Now, it's sometimes it's not necessarily about the talking. It's but the sincerity behind who is listening. So, you need to ask her questions. You guys need to talk. You know, how was the day? And then, how did she fare today? How was things? You know, just find out about her. And also, when she wants to talk to you about something, you don't push her away. You don't allow your friends or neighbors or things or jobs or career stand on the way. Give her some level of attention. They crave for these things. And I can tell you, if you are looking in your marriage and you find out that, okay, why is the whole thing so dry? Why is it so cold? Why is there no aliveness there? Why is there no freshness in your marriage? Maybe you're not giving your wife a lot of attention. Trust me, if you do this, you will spark some aliveness that probably you've been craving for a long time. So, go and give her more attention. Number three, women want you to listen without giving any advice or trying to lecture them or try to take them as a little kid. 
Look, women are smart people. They're very intelligent people. You know, they're just not dumb art. There are people that are capable of solving their own problems as well. But when they come to you, maybe they're confused about something or they are telling you about something or a particular thing, the way they feel about this particular, maybe their job or the family or the house or, or their career or one thing or the other, something that is bothering them. When they come to you, you don't say, you know what, fine, do this A, B, C, D. You are just like giving commandments. You are like the rules, the regulations. This is the policy on how you need to do things. No, you don't do that. She's not a child. She's not a kid. You know what you're going to do? Calm down. Listen. What's she talking about? You know what she wants you to do? Encourage her. Hug her. Empathize with her. Show that compassion. And don't do it in such a way that she can easily know you don't care. She can easily know you're not interested. You just want to tell her, do this, do this, the problem is solved. No. Go into her world. Understand where she's coming from. And give her some time of empathy, some time of compassion. And listen attentively. Don't be distracted. As you listen, don't begin to give her laws. Just feel what she feels. Okay? And I can tell you if you do that, more love for her and better days for you ahead. Number four, the man needs to proactively plan time for his wife. You see, women go through a lot, a lot every single day. Maybe their job, maybe kids, family. You might be also be working, but they're very emotional. So she has been busy with a lot of things. She has been with her boss, her colleagues, her friends. She has been on the road. She's been driving. A lot of things has happened during the day. Sometimes she just wants to relax. She just want to have like, you know, like a bubble bath, you know, with all these precious oils and lavender, whatever you want to call them. And just give her some bath. Let her just chill. Let her just relax. And you go downstairs, wash the dishes, clean up, do what you have to do. And just give the woman time to relax and also create time to be with her. You know, just making her to recharge herself, making her to relax, making her to feel that, you know what, this marriage, we are in this marriage together. Let her feel and see that you really care. And that's by spending time together. I mean, can you imagine for a whole year, you've not had time maybe to go out together or have a date night together or maybe travel with our kids, without any interference. You just want to spend time with your wife, maybe just a weekend or maybe just going somewhere, just having some time or maybe calling somebody to come and look after the kids or, or be with the kids or drop the kids over at your parents' place and just have time with your wife exclusive time these times are very precious you talk about a lot of things you discuss about a lot of issues you know you have time to to relax you know one another more a lot of things happen when you spend time together you bond more but when you don't do this you can bring stress you can bring a lot of confusion and the mind can be so unsettled so create time for her and relax and let her recharge she will feel more love. And also for you as well. Number five. <laughs> you know, because I'm married myself and I know that <laughs> this number five is, is a very, very serious something. I mean, number five, if you want to actually show love to your wife, you need to show her some service. Lots of service. Look, I know that everybody has got their responsibility in the family. And sometimes men always think women work is housework. You know, they have to cook, they have to wash dishes, they have to bear the kids, they have to put things in the laundry, they have to iron, they have to hoover the floor, they have to do almost everything in the house. And yet the man comes by and says, I love you, honey. I love you. You're great. You're wonderful. You're sweet. And yet they can't wash dishes. They can't even hoover the floor. Even to make the bed where they slept at night, they can't even make beds. And I'm asking myself, is that love? You can't even wash anything. You can support the family in doing any housework. The kids' assignments, she always makes sure the assignments are being done. She checks the bags. You never do anything. You just watch your football. You just watch your TV. 
Maybe you read your Bible or you're just busy with one thing or the other. And you don't support in some chores at home. Trust me, this isn't love. The woman won't feel your love. Look, it's not about the cars, the houses, the exotic holidays, the fantastic places you've been on holidays. We're talking about the house. We're talking about the home. When a woman feels that you're supporting her at home, she actually see. Sometimes you cook. You cook the dinner. You wash the dishes. You hoover the floor. You know, you arrange the rooms. You clean the, the, the dusty places. You do a lot of things to support the woman. I can tell you, this woman will feel so loved, so valued, and trust me, she will go an extra mile. I mean, I don't like this idea that say, uh, maybe women are meant for the kitchen. I don't think that's real. I don't think that's true. Okay? Even though virtuous women do a lot of things around the home, but that does not necessitate a man to hold that and say, you know what? I'm doing nothing, but I love you. I'm doing nothing, but I care about you. But I'm doing nothing because I'm working. I'm doing nothing because I'm the man in the house. I'm doing nothing. That philosophy, throw it away. It's not right philosophy. That idea, it doesn't work. If you want your woman to feel loved, valued, cherished, cared, and being compassionate, to feel that you're compassionate, trust me, you need to do housework too. And there's nothing wrong washing her clothes or taking her clothes to the laundry. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with helping, going to the shop, doing the groceries? What's wrong with that? Taking the clothes to the necessary place for laundry. For laundry. What? Man, if you want love, and if you want your woman to reciprocate back to you, these five things, they are very, very essential. And I'm hoping that as you do it, you'll be blessed. And your family will also be blessed. And your wife, above all, she will feel she's the only woman on earth. She'll be very grateful and happy that she have such a wonderful man like you. Thank you for listening.